Hi, welcome to this video about regression assumptions with process. If you use process to test a mediation, a moderation, or a moderated mediation, you're running regression models, and regressions have assumptions. And only if those are met will you get correct results. Unfortunately, process doesn't check those regression assumptions for you. Therefore, this video will show you two different approaches how you can check the regression assumptions while using process. Let's look at the assumptions for a multiple regression. Linearity of the relationship between independent variables and dependent variable. Normal distribution of the residuals. Homoscedasticity of the residuals. Uncorrelatedness of the residuals. Absence of strong multicollinearity. Appropriate scale properties and absence of extreme outliers. The scale properties you check by looking at the scale, how it's constructed. So let's start with the first approach, with a comprehensive test of the different assumptions. This is the approach I would use for writing a master's thesis or dissertation or something like that. Here you reconstruct all regression models that process runs by hand in SPSS, and then you can check the assumptions. SPSS. Let's look at an example. In this case, simple moderation, that is model number one. And up here we see which model process has run. One dependent variable, one independent variable, one moderator and the interaction. And now we rebuild this model in SPSS. If you have decided to center predictors, you have to center them for SPSS manually. To make it a little bit simpler in this example, we don't mean center. But what we have to do by hand is creating the interaction variable. Then we enter the variables in the regression dialog. In the statistics sub-dialog, we could choose collinearity diagnostics in order to check for multicollinearity. Durbin-Watson test in order to see whether there are correlated residuals. The alternative would be to look at the way the sample was drawn and use that information to show that there will be no correlatedness of residuals. For outliers, we could use the case-wise diagnostic feature here. Next, we go to the plots sub-dialog, the plot up here, the standardized predicted values, and the studentized residuals is used to check homoscedasticity. The two plots down here, histogram and normal probability plot, are used to check normality. And the partial plots can be used to check the linearity assumption. In the save dialog, we could save different types of residuals. For instance, if we want to run the Shapiro-Wilk test or KS test for normality, and here are different values we could use to diagnose outliers. And then we run the regression. If we have the results, we should check whether we get the same parameter values as with using process, because then we know we have correctly rebuilt the model in SPSS. And then we can use the different values and graphs we requested in order to check the regression assumptions. But there's a second, shorter way, where we only deal with three important assumptions. In order not to care about normality, we use bootstrapping for all regression coefficients. We do that by checking this box down here, bootstrap inference for model coefficients. Next, homoscedasticity. We don't have to worry about that assumption if we use robust standard errors. In the options dialog of process, up here is an option. And in this case, I choose HC4 as a robust standard error. What remains is a very important assumption that there is really a linear relationship between each of the predictors and the dependent variable. I will check this assumption in any case, even if I just want to have some quick results. And I would do this by running simple scatter plots between each of the predictors and the dependent variable. This brings us to the end of the short tutorial. Thank you for watching. You will find links to my videos about moderated mediation in the description of the video.